Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Pantheon mid guide on Europe West in Flex. We're going to see what changed to his Conqueror rune, we're going to see how that works for him now, we're going to talk about builds and runes and how I generally play Pantheon and how to generally play Pantheon against Cassiopeia, Lysin, Mordekaiser, Yumi, Aphelios. Did they just look on OPGG which are the strongest champion for each role? I don't know about Yumi now because she got nerfed, but holy! Cassiopeia is kind of the strongest in Winnerate, Aphelios is kind of the strongest considering how strong they are. Mordekaiser as well can because they're strong. Lissi needs to be an OTP to be strong, but Yumi right now got nerfed, so but she's still probably strong. So did they just press tab and low, let's go for high play rate, high win rate champions like lol. Anyway. Enough with the rants, let's talk about Pantheon. I'm playing with Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Cup, the Grace, Biscuit Delivery, Time or Tonic, and these rune stats. I'm going for Yumus. I'm going for probably Moby Boots or Mertress, depending on how we're doing on lane. Into Black Cleaver, into something like GA, or maybe some other item, depending on needs. Maybe Edge of Night, we're going to see. I'm gonna max Q, then W, then E or E then W we're going to see. I'm gonna try to keep a steady lane. Now, Conqueror changed from 10 stacks to 12, so basically it's the same thing now at 12 stacks instead of 10. It's not a buff, it's a change. So there is a big difference between a change and a buff. A change is when the number stays the same, right? Because if you have 12 stacks now, it's going to be the same as when you had uh, 12. If you had 12 stacks, it's the same when you had 10, right? And you will still stack very fast those stacks with Pantheon casting a W. So beside, you're going to just have to do an auto attack extra. So if in the past you had to W and then one auto attack, one Q, now you have two auto attacks and one Q or something like that. And I got poked for no reason there. I'm going to let her Conqueror stacks fade away. We're not going to fight her until level 2. And now we can just jump on her, but we also have to consider the listening factor. Also, the change to Conqueror didn't change much, because in this game 6 people have Conqueror out of 10, and 3 of them don't even, like Lulu, Leona, they don't even need, and also uh, Rengar could have gone as well, so that would have been <laughs> um, 7 of... Tristana doesn't go for it, so it's not necessary, but let's just... Let's just make level 3 and then we're gonna start thinking about an engage. We're gonna let her push us in a bit and we're gonna farm with Q. We're gonna get... Ah, that minion got killed. And we're gonna help Rengar as well if needed, but because she pushed me in, uh, we need to counter push. We're gonna, we're gonna counter push for the scuttle so that we're going to be there for the scuttle fight. And we're going to get here the cannon and after that we're going to jump straight on her. Right here. But she is positioned into the minion wave, so we don't have to do that. Also, we're gonna ping that we can't really help. So the listen, if it's necessary to... Okay, we're gonna miss that. Not gonna miss this one. Alright. Gonna cast a Q here. Gonna try to lose as few CS as possible into this. Alright. And now she positioned so aggressively here that we could actually do this. And now she has no mana. Right? Okay. It's fine. And we are still doing decent here. Okay, go, go, go. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, you got him. Okay, that was easy. And also the Tristana kill. So I just had to play safe. I could have gone more aggressive there. Definitely could have gone. Oops, I have chat disabled. Yep, that's a good thing though. So I'm gonna ping to for Rengar to come here because most likely uh, she will teleport onto this. I mean, I would, but ah, no, she won't because she's not dumb actually. Because the wave is pushed uh, and it will slowly uh, make her lose more if she teleports now. She could just teleport later, so that's what she's doing, right? I uh, was figuring out that she will instantly teleport to push the wave into the tower, but it's way more actually better for her to not do that. Okay, and we can, we still have Ignite by the way. We can jump on her here, do a Q into E, into Ignite. We know she has no, we know she has no uh, actual... Okay, she had flashed, but <laughs> I thought she flashed back there into the listen. Uh, but we still got her because she panicked. And the problem is now that she will just teleport. And so we're gonna try to push as much as we can, but she will instantly teleport here. 
not sure even on which minion okay on that one so we're just gonna auto attack this one and gonna throw a cube we're fine and we are actually having CS advantage so she will get uh, 6 CS here she's trying to actually freeze the wave but she kind of failed <laughs> It's very hard to freeze the wave on mid lane properly because it's the, the wave is much shorter. So if you want to practice freezing lanes, you got to do it on top lane generally because the wave being so long, it allows you to position yourself properly. Also, bot lane, unconventional bot lane, Tristana is so rare these days and we don't really see that much. But look, it, the minions will get built into the tower now and we can just ward, we can go. He could actually kill Mordekaiser here. Run, flash, run, something. Well, that's was sad. But I'm still going here. I could probably take on them. Alright. Why? I'm trying to ping pan to for him to go mid because I'm getting this wave. I'm actually resetting here. All right, and now I'm going back mid. Uh, I got the kill on that, but I'm actually gonna ult here so that we don't lose that much. So we we got also the farm on mid by doing this. We haven't lost pretty much anything, and we could think of actually going for a gank on her. Oops. And the heal from him will come, let me guess. Actually not. I'm trying to ping for Rengar to come. She has no flash. So that should be an easy gank. Alright, gonna get stunned here. Okay. That actually went nice. Okay, Lissy might come. We want to take this, but we want to let it damage a bit the minions so that it pushes towards me. Right, so it's fine now, it should be okay. And the fact that they went for the back and they're not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure this pushes towards us because we have a better positioning in terms of that. And we're gonna get this. Okay, and then we're starting to get Humus at 700 gold. We got another kill on her, it seems that we're winning bot lane. Poor guys, man, this is a stomp. And all I had to do was not grid out here onto the listen onto the onto the listen and to the Cassiopeia and just wait and we got them. So that was that was the deal there. Also I'm 3-0, she's 0-3. I think I'm gonna throw a Q here, not not throw it like just tap it. Like this. I'm gonna back off, gonna let the tower do two shots, gonna ping that she's going bot. Right, so I'm gonna cast the Q. Then we might go for a deep ward. Okay, we see listen, right? So if we see this in there, it means they want to insect me. So I'm just gonna ward here in hopes that if he comes there, we're going to notice that. I'm just gonna stay like in this zone. It's very hard for him to actually to actually come. Okay, if Leona comes then. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I really wanted him to actually engage to panic engage there. Alright, so we can we can just take this minion. And wait, listen can still come, okay. I can just kill you until listen comes. I don't I don't mind it, I'm that strong. <laughs> listen was nearby by the way, was literally near me. Come on. Oh man! Man, got him. Also gonna get this as a free gift for myself. Gonna do it like this, okay? There might be a Cassiopeia coming, but we have E soon, so we're gonna deal with it. <laughs> Probably went AFK though, and so we're going for the scuttle as well. Gonna work here so that we don't get surprised by Cassiopeia, <laughs> and I'm super ahead right now. Game should be over at 15. This is that kind of game where you make people go AFK. I think she's already AFK. Because she. Oh, okay. She's top. They swapped or what? 
also we got uh, Herald, so that's another thing for us. I'm going for armor here, just for the sake of it. They have three AP. Could go for, could go for magic resist. They are could go for magic resist, but it's fine in this case. I will just ult here, and I'm gonna ult here because I wanna just to get closer to the to the thing. All right, just gonna jump. All right, this doesn't this doesn't stop me. All right, and apparently I get a lot of plates as well, so let's do that. 6-0 and generally on Pantheon you don't really need to grid out on roams you can just try to kill the opponent because you're that strong early on you're obnoxiously strong early on and as you can see I didn't try to roam a lot I could have even not go onto the top there when I killed uh, Lysin or Mord Mordecai yeah, because I got ulted I could have not done that so I could have just stayed mid and tried to kill Cassio more and Cassiopeia is very easy to kill early on if you're careful and I'm gonna recall here again. I'm, go I'm going straight to this because we want to be more tanky. And I'm gonna get boots after this. And now we're going to be ridiculously beefy. And I'll still have the damage. So I'm doing that. Why? Because I have 600 gold on top of my head. And I'm 600, which means they will target me. They will focus me. They will ult me. So the more they ult, the listen ult, the Cassiopeia ult, all of this might come into my head. And in this case, I will be able to actually 2 versus 1 the Lissin and Mordekaiser in theory, if I don't grid out. Alright. Alright. We're not gridding out. We back off. And Lissin is coming. And theoretically, we should be able to deal with him as well. But I don't have E and I don't want to give the shutdown. He's level 6, man. That's tempting. That's very tempting. Jesus, look at that Q damage. Ah, I got insect. <laughs> well, well played though. Although giving a shutdown to Lissin if he's extremely behind still won't save him. Lissin needs to be very fed and very good. These are two things that he needs to do and rarely you'll see those happening both and he just died already uh, it's not going listens carry very rarely and only if they are otp and even the otps carry very rarely because of the complexity of the champion at lower elos if it's a diamond or master or challenger eh, not diamond even even not diamond master or challenger players listen players might have a chance and here we're gonna jump Bam, we're gonna try to save here. Ah, that was so close. Alright. Gonna auto attack you to that, I suppose. And now we're gonna do a dive bot, because we really like to farm kills this game. Cassiopeia just farms there. I need to also keep tabs on that. So I'm going here. I need to keep tabs on farm, on the Cassiopeia's farm, because she's my opponent. And I gotta have also some, you know. And also I went too fast there. Need to let them push. Okay, go. Gonna get damaged here a lot by them. Uh, get out. Okay, that worked. So, easy gank there. My bot is also fed. Obnoxiously fed. And they should surrender by 15. This was a pretty simple game. But again, Pantheon still scales pretty well with Conqueror. And plays pretty well with Conqueror. And what you should know is that he practically, technically, surely, he was buffed against other Conqueror matchups. Which is most of his matchups anyway. But yeah, you may struggle a bit harder against Echo. You may struggle a bit harder against Fizz. But it's going to be most likely the same thing up to a point. You're going to do better against Irelia, maybe. You're going to do better against Katarina against Talon Z, those that play with Conqueror, because some of them do. We're going to do better against most Conqueror users. Not Renekton, though. Okay, Renekton's should destroy you. Right, and I'm sticking around right here. I want to cast here my Yums. Ah, okay. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, I got her. <laughs> this guy doesn't... <laughs> 
This guy doesn't damage me. He's so behind. He's so behind. Bloody hell! All right. Poor Yumi though. She couldn't. She couldn't escape. I got her. And yeah, I suppose this is the game, guys. I suppose that they will surrender. And okay. Yona, why don't you take these minions for me so that they kill me? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna recall here because we don't want to get a second shutdown. All right, <laughs> that damage. All right, so we might we can't get that dense because we don't have enough gold yet. So we go here for this is a hard choice for Moby so that we reach faster. <laughs> and after that, Phage and this we're, we we were too close to that to that dense. All right. Oh no, we see the tower going for the the guy pretty much sure Garen destroys him oh what all right that was a plot twist I really expected the opposite I'm gonna choke here a Q I'm gonna try to do a jump here to help him if he needs also I can jump here because she will position exactly she will position towards the bot all right I got outplayed, yes! I should not grit out. Yep, I'm trolling a bit at this point. She she had free ult from the moment I jumped, but she did a pretty good uh, she put a pretty good W there, so she stopped me. I'm gritting out, but I'm pretty much sure the game is over a long time ago. But this logic that I do here is the one that actually will lose you games if you do it. So if you I've seen this in League of Legends, I've seen this in Valorant, I've seen it in everything. In the last rounds. People are overconfident, they like, oh my god, we're going to win, we're, ah, you're fine. And they start throwing, and this is exactly what I did there as well, so it's not going to be a perfect score game. Two times I actually throwed. But let's finish it now, let's not prolong it. That was interesting. So Flash from Ophelia's ult from Lee Sin. They already throw important cooldowns to that, let's, let's just get this and end the game. Alright. Let's move towards here. That then second item is a pretty interesting thing to do. Also, I'm thinking that's it's strong as well. So let's stop trolling. Let's end this game. And you can see it works, especially this fun lane phase. Right. And what are even? All right. Don't dive, please. Let's just. It's, it's funny though, some games they should be surrendered at 15, but some players have ego. And in this game, it doesn't matter who he is, all of them failed their lanes or lost their lanes. They should have not wasted this much time. Okay. That was a useless Cassiopeia ult right there. And let's just finish the Mordekaiser. Or we don't. Where is Rengar? Man. You have the freaking Harold. Oh, and he put it there? What? Why? Alright, then let's just... Uh, yep, this is the hinting part that we talked about. And now here I need to run away because I have mobis and I can't really help the guy with anything. So this is the throwing part <laughs> that we talked about, <laughs> yes. Okay. Also, this guy goes for Bramble Vest into Tabis, into yeah, into armor, full armor. They all stack armor, so they will start to actually be useful. And this annoys me because we are wasting time instead of finishing the game. Um, if they get this rake, they can have a chance, but. I'm pretty much sure some of them will get caught randomly and will actually give us the game by that. I could ult here, for example. This guy, if this guy goes for one more wave, that's free for me. Most likely he will go for one more wave. Alright. Then, eh, yeah, we can end like this as well, I suppose. Alright. Come here, boy. BAM! The flash! Ooh! Ooh, come here, come here. 
All right, I am in trouble. Just gonna stack up my spell right here. <laughs> She's still a true me over goal. All right, come on, guys. Come on, let's fight. Adios, man. You pushed him away from me. Right, let me just get this real quick. Maybe Lysin will come. I don't know if I can take this. Oh uh, my god. Where is the team? Come on, kill people. One. Okay, Yumi. Two, three. Alright, end the game. They use... I feel it's just ulted on me, I was already dead by a long time ago. But still, as you can see, as I told you, someone will try to overdo stuff. Honestly, I wouldn't even go for Drake's at their score. I would just stick around base and hope to get a pick somehow. That would be the only case. Especially if you have a mage mid laner that can do that. Like, Talia! <laughs> so this was the game, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I have bought no Vision Wars this game, I think. So that's a mistake. You buy 3 or 4 of this per game and you will improve. Just gonna put it there to in shame that I forgot. <laughs> so this was the game. Again, I really hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time, guys. Ah, to more tutorials, to more Talia and Pantheon tutorials, I suppose. See you next time again for the third time. Goodbye, guys.